What's going on, y'all? Back with another video. Today, man, I'm gonna be showing y'all how I turn any melody into a sample with just like two or three plugins, man. So let's get right into it. Got this melody drawn up. Let me play it for you guys real quick. Just a little SRX piano. Little church church pad. Let's maybe change that. Okay, so that sounds cool. First thing, I want to make sure all y'all do, highlight everything, hit option R. You want to randomize your velocity to make it sound more like it was when it was, everything was played by, you know, by hand on piano. I already did that, so I'm going to exit out of it. Let me push this back. But yeah, you want to make it sound realistic. That's the first step in making your melody sound like a sample. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and play it. Oh, another thing you guys could do, I almost forgot about this, so control A, hit option, and you guys could nudge everything to the right, you know, just a little bit off the grid. That's another important step that could, you know, make your melody sound, sound you know, vintage. Because, you know, back then everything wasn't really just played right on time and quantized and everything so do those two things and you know you're off to a good start in, in making your melody sound like a sample let me go ahead and play it boom i got this rooted to track two okay cool so let's make sure all these on let's get into it cool first thing i got for y'all i don't know why this is going like this let's see quantize First thing I got for y'all, I like to throw on there a lot. Let's go with Valhalla Vintage Verb. So you can make it sound like the 70s, 80s, got different presets. Really make your melody sound vintage, so this is one of the number one things I would use. And that I do use. Turn, turn my melody into a sample, so. Kind of mix with your ears and see what sounds best as far as the mix goes. Actually, just in like right there, 46 is good. Next thing I like to do, throw the H910 dual harmonizer. I like to use the dual a lot. It gives it two of them. And then I'll sync it right here, where we had link. So that means both of them will be on, on the same uh, setting. So then I'll pitch it down. And it gives it like that real glitch sound. And the real old sound. Like, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's like it's getting processed through the machine. So it just gives it that real vintage sound. We got that. Let's see what's another one I like to use. I either go to Somatics, Somatics Origin, and I'll downgrade the sample song. I like doing that, depending on what I'm going for. Also, different presets on that. So, if you want like that Drake effect or, you know, Party Next Door OVO effect, something like that, you can use this, degrade the sample rate. Give it that real sample feel. Or another thing you can use, you don't want to use that, you can use the RC20. That has some good effects on it. You can use the uh, vinyl effect. Or the VHS effect. I 
And that's the majority of what I do to make all of my melodies sound like a sample. Man. So if you want to like make samples or something like that, these are three easy things that you can do. You know, throw them on your melody, turn it into a sample. I got one more thing I use. So y'all can use either either one of those or you know a combination of them. Another thing I like to use right here is tape. Tape. I'll go to like the low fi You know, and it uses like AI to analyze your your beat and everything. So I kinda I kinda like this uh plug in sweet old vinyl you could adjust the noise so I like to throw that on there a lot but yeah man you use like those three or any one of those two Man, you got yourself a sample, man. It's all about the sounds you use too. You, I think it works better when you use authentic sounds like, like the piano, or uh, you know, trumpets or something like that. Strings. When you use real organic sounds, I think it works better. Also, uh, you know, it's a it's a million different things you could do. Choirs, you know, a lot of different stuff to make make it sound vintage. A uh, whole lot of different plugins. I only ran through a few of them. It's a lot of different stuff you can do, man. But I just wanted to give you guys the basics on on some of my go-to's when I want to make my melody sound like a sample or make loops and make it sound like a sample or something like that. You can put vocals in here, go to arcade. Just a few things you guys can do, man. But yeah, that's that's basically what I do to make my melody sound like a sample. I'll play it for you one more time. But that's all I got for today, man. Uh, let me know if this video helped you. If you made it this far, like the video. Comment, let me know what type of videos y'all want me to do. Until next time, man, signing out.